What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. This is for entertainment purposes only. So we did pretty good with Euro this week. Yeah, this thing moved quite nicely. Took out the highs. I jumped out a little bit early because, uh, you know, I just I didn't want to be greedy. And I wanted to walk away with something. But then I ended up placing uh, another trade on Aussie too early. And took a loss on that. Um, so, yeah. Pretty much, I, I was at a wash this week. Because of that move. You know, I thought we were going to kind of turn from here, but... It pushed a little bit higher. And we've got some serious, serious momentum right now. So I, I, I doubt that we're just going to reverse. I would say we'll probably get a little bit of a pullback... And one more attempt, you know, because you look at the higher time frame, you know, we, we hit this trend line, bounced, hit this trend line, bounced, lower high. We broke through, and now we're coming back up for a retest. So on the monthly chart and the weekly chart, it looks like it's actually passed through for whatever reason, but then when you zoom in, to the four hour chart, you can see that like price is close, but hasn't really gone for it yet. So that's that's what I'm looking for is a little pullback, one more attempt of this long term trend line, and then big move to the downside, like probably a massive move right off rip to the downside because of its, I mean, it's a big, big area. So I would assume that there's a lot of traders like going to be starting to open up shorts from there. Uh, so I'm not I'm not going to trade Euro this week. Instead, I'm going to jump to Aussie because you see Euro USD. It ended the day at 0.01 percent up, and Aussie ended the day at negative. 0.75%. So if Euro starts going to the downside, Aussie is going to fly to the downside. From my experience, that's what it's been like anyway. So I'd rather I'd rather kind of short Aussie anyway because Aussie still looks bearish overall. It seems like we're still in a downtrend. Euro kind of looks like it kind of maybe bottomed and it's it's starting to head back up, but we're also retesting a big monthly like monster. So I don't know. So my plan for this week is to try to short the Aussie. So where are we here? Yeah. All right here. Let's shut this off. I guess we'll stick with four hour. Yeah. So I threw in a position here. It's it's up slightly a little bit right now, not much. But I'm thinking that just like um, I'm going to see what happens. I'm I'm thinking we'll get a, a correction, right? One more push up into this zone. You know, somewhere in here. Possibly a little bit higher. But I think that we're going to come and take out all, all of these, these highs right into this zone before we get another big reversal to the downside. So, But then again, who knows? You know what I mean? It, it could go straight down from there. Maybe we get like a, a lower high and this just plummets. So... I don't know. I'm going to see the way price moves, but I have this position here anyway. And uh, if it decides to go, great. Or if it decides to correct and then go for one more move up, then maybe I just leave it and then add on to my position above the highs and then hope for the, you know, the move to the downside. But I may... These are the only two variables really for me this week. I may get out of this and then just put everything above the highs. Or I might leave this and then just add on above the highs. But that's my plan. Anyways, for this week, I'm just gonna stick to this. That's it. Make things simple, easy, not all over the place. 
one pair. I don't want to trade anything else because I want to like make money by the end of the week and not go off and trade something else and be stupid and then lose the money. So yeah, that's the plan. We'll see what happens. Make sure you subscribe. See you later.